I was diagnosed in January 2002 with a very rare sarcoma called Lyomile sarcoma. It's a cancer of the involuntary smooth muscles. I found an online support group through ACOR, and together they were able to find more research. It was anecdotal information, but it was very key to us getting some clues on how to help us treat ourselves. One of our patients, Iqbal Ahmed, read in a scientific journal about this new and upcoming research called microarray technology. So he read about this and wondered, how can we get a microarray analysis on our little rare cancer? And lo and behold, the Stanford researcher was very receptive and emailed him back and said to him, what I need to do a microarray analysis on a rare cancer is tissue. That led to my involvement with the patient-led tissue drive. We were able to retrieve their paraffin blocks and some fresh tissue as well from the hospitals where they had their own surgery. After we got all this data, the researcher noticed that some of these tissues had lots and lots and lots of macrophages. That's part of your immune system. It's kind of the Pac-Man who eats up all the bad stuff. So the researcher asked me to go back and get more patient data some case histories to help him connect the dots between these tissues and, and what had happened with the patients. So I went back and called every single donor, and I was able to tease out a lot of information, what this tumor sample was, what the surgery was, what kind of treatment they had afterwards, did it work, did it not work. With that data, our researcher made the connection that the people who had the worst prognosis, in other words, the shortest survival time, uh, had the most macrophages loaded in their tumors. Instead of being the good guys eating up the garbage, they were actually being bad guys and accelerating tumor growth. He did a mouse study, and the results were miraculous. Uh, he was able to get mice with this sarcoma in their abdomen and then spread metastasized to their lungs. And with this drug that he came up with, it actually got rid of all the tumor in their lungs and most of it in the primary area as well. This was pretty dramatic effects. So at this point, we're going into a phase one human trial as well. And we're looking at an antigen of cancer vaccine that would help train your own immune system to recognize the cancer as a bad thing and go back to the Pac-Man mechanism rather than accelerate the tissue growth. So just by contacting a researcher, us designing a whole tissue drive, we were able to get this very dramatic research done on our little rare tissue.